started with uh, with the unit four, that is the part, that is the little bird tree. So we have discussed about part one. So now we are going to start off with part two. So everybody open your textbooks, page number twenty nine. We'll start off with the part two. And uh, before I start the lesson, reading the lesson and uh, explaining to you all, let us know the words and its meanings. Courtyard and unroofed. So unroofed area that is completely or partially enclosed by wall or building or lawn. Admire like a lot. Crack damaged. Wonder wonder thought. Awfully very bad or unpleasant. Crowd move forward on the hands and knees. Drag pull. So after knowing the words and its meanings, let us start with start with the lesson. The lesson. So I'll start reading the lesson here. Next up, next Christmas, the fir tree looked really beautiful. Everyone who saw it loved it. So the next year, there was a Christmas time, children, and the tree grew uh, grew very beautifully, and it looked very beautiful. And it was the first one to be cut. So it was the first one to be cut. And everybody who saw the tree admired the tree and praised the tree. As the axe went into the trunk, the tree fe uh, felt weakness and pain. So when the woodcutter was cutting the trunk of the tree, trunk means what, children? Stem. When the woodcutter was cutting the stem of the fir tree, it felt very pain in. Pain and pain and weakness. It forgot that it had been waiting for this day for such a long time. So it was in such a pain that it forgot that it was waiting for this moment for such a long time. After an uncomfortable ride in a cart, it reached the courtyard of the house. So after an uncomfortable ride means it was first only it was. Uh, it was feeling very pain, and upon that, it was the tree was cut, and it was put, it was put in the wagon, and it was carried on, it was carried on in the car, and it was it was feeling very uncomfortable, and it reached the courtyard. As I have explained to you all, courtyard, courtyard is an unroofed area that is completely or or partially enclosed by wall or building or lawn. So it is. It is enclosed with partially a wall, a building, or a lawn. But it is unroofed area, children. It was unroofed area. Then, of of the of the many uh, of the many trees in the cart, the fir tree was chosen because it was it was prettiest tree. So there were in the in the cart there were so many other trees also which were which were carried on, but the fir tree was the prettiest one so it was chosen it was chosen and then the servants dressed in fancy uniforms took took the tree into the large drawing room so what happened children uh, some servants came and they uh, in a fancy uniform in a fancy they were well dressed in a uniform and they came and they took the tree to the drawing room this is what the sparrows were talking about. So the fir tree thought that this is what the sparrows were, were talking about. It thought. Then some um, some young ladies came into the room. So what happened after uh, taking after bringing the uh, tree into the drawing room? Some ladies entered the room. The tree was stuck into a big tub full of sand, and then it was decorated with bells, gold, silver, and bright red shining balls. So what happened, children? The ladies took the tree and what they did? They stuck. They stuck to the tub. This is the tub, the children. This is the behind this. There is a tub. And what they did? The tub was full of sand. And what they did? They just stuck this tree into the tub and they decorated with shiny balls. You can, as you can see here, they were they were decorated with shiny balls. Shiny balls, gold and silver, 
shiny balls. Gifts in packets were hung on the tree and placed around it. So the gifts were hung around the tree and they were placed and, and they were placed on the branches of the tree. Candles were lit. Candles, candles, sorry, candles were put on the branches. So the candles were put on the branches. That evening the candles were lit. So in the evening the candles were lit on the branches of the tree. A star was put right at the top of the tree. So a star was put at the right of the top of the tree. So a star was put here. This is the tree and the star was put on top of the tree. The tree trembled and one of the candles fell and almost burnt some of its tinier branches. After that, the tree kept very still. So what happened children? When the candles were lit on the branches of the tree, what happened? One, uh, one candle fell on the one of the branches and what did it? It damaged the branch by burning it. By burning it and after that, the tree stood still. Well, the sparrows will see me now, wandered the, wandered the tree. Will I grow faster? So, the tree started dreaming that, will the sparrow see me and will I grow faster? So, it thought it will grow faster. Before it could think any more, there was the noise of a small feet. Small, noise of a small feet. Lots of children ran into the room. So what happened? As it was thinking, it heard some noise. What noise it heard, children? It heard the noise of a noise of children. And lots of children came came near the tree. Came near the tree. First they admired the tree and then they they were allowed to take the presence of it. So what happened? The children first saw the tree and they admired the tree. What's the meaning of admire children here? Admired means liked a lot. So what they did? They, they just saw the tree and they liked the tree and they praised the tree. And after praising the tree, what happened? They started uh, taking the presents which were hung on the branches of the tree. This was this was most uncomfortable. The children, uh, the children were happy with the toys, with the toys they got. So what happened, children? As the children started pulling the gifts from the branches of the tree, the tree felt very uncomfortable and the children were very happy to get their presents, that is the toys, that is the toys, they were very happy, they ran around and played with them, so what happened, they were very happy with the presents they got and they ran around the tree and they played, they pulled back of sweets off the tree and the tree and its branches cracked. So what happened children? They were playing and what they did? They just pulled the sweets which were which was uh, which was hung on the branches of the tree and what happened? By pulling the tree was cracked. Crack means what children here? Crack means damage. The branch, one of the branches of the tree was damaged here. Damaged. Uh, they, they sang and danced and listened to the stories. So, what they did? They sang and they danced because it was Christmas children and uh, and every house was decorated with a fir tree and there is, and you might have seen the Santa Claus also. Right? Here is a Santa Claus. Here is a Santa Claus. And, the, and what they did? They just played. They just played and they listened to the stories. Stories. The tree listened to the stories with children and wondered what would happen next. So what happened? The tree also listened the stories along with the children and it wondered. Wondered means what children here? Wondered means thought. So the tree was very much curious and it was, it was very happy. As it was very happy and it was beautifully decorated and the children were moving around it. It, was, it listened to the stories and it was very happy children. And it was worried what would happen. Uh, so it, it started thinking what would happen next. Soon it was dark and quiet in the room. So what happened? The, it, uh, the children played around the tree and it became dark. It became evening. 
everyone had gone had gone to bed it was it will all begin tomorrow again so it was dark children and the tree thought that since it is dark since it's getting dark so uh, tomorrow morning again something would happen something new interesting thing would happen it thought i i shall be decorated and i shall i shall hear some more stories so it started dreaming that the next day also it will be decorated and it will hear some stories then the next morning the maids entered the room so what happened children the next morning the maids entered the room it it is all about to begin once more so when it saw the maid it what it thought it thought that again something is going to happen something new is going to happen then but but the tree was pulled out of the sand and dragged to the to a dark corner of of a storeroom where it was thrown so what happened children the maid came to the room and what they did they just dragged the tree dragged means what children here they just pulled they just pulled the tree from the tub they just pulled the tree from the tub and they dragged it to the storeroom and they threw the threw it there the corner was dark the corner was dark no sunlight entered the room so the corner was very dark children and there was no sunlight in the room the tree thought it was winter people will come and plant me again so what it thought it did not it did not stop thinking children it thought that it must be winter and the people will come again and they will plant me they will plant it again it thought it was awful lonely here awful means what children here awful means very bad or unpleasant so as it was dark in the room the tree felt very awful uncomfortable unpleasant it felt and there was an infant very lonely children squeak squeak said the mice at the uh, so said the mice as as they crowd as they crowd between the branches hello old fur tree so what happened children there were nobody in the room but there was a mice which came which came making noise and and it crowd and it crowd between the branches what is the meaning of crowd crowd children here crowd means move forward on the hands and knees for example when you are a child when you are a child what you do you start walking with four legs that is two hands and two legs and later on you start walking with two legs in the same way what happened children here the mice also crowd the mice also started walking with its four with its four feet around the branches of the tree and it said hello old tree i am not old said the tree i am young i am a young fir tree so what did the fir tree to tell uh, the mice children the uh, it told that it is not an old tree it is a it is a young tree the mice kept squeaking and asking ever asking the fir tree where it had come and come from and what was going to happen to it so the mice kept on asking the asking the fir tree from where it had come and what would happen to it uh, the fir tree could only talk about the forest and the happy days it had spent there so the fir tree only could speak about the happy days it had spent spent there uh, spent spent earlier yes now it knew that the days in the forest in the forest in sunlight or in the rain with the wind kissing it and the dew drops falling on it had been one uh, wonderful days so now it realized that the days earlier days were much more better and and it all missed it did not miss the, about the sunlight rain and uh, kissing the winds and the dew drops falling on the trees so uh, so the moral of the story here is children you must be happy with whatever you have okay and uh, with this we end up the story i hope you have understood the understood the uh, story that is a part 2 and uh, before i end up before i end up there is a homework for you where you will have to write it in your homework book i will give you the questions what was what was used to 
describe the tree so what was used to sorry what was used to decorate the tree what was used to decorate the tree what sound did the mice make what sound did the mice make what did the tree dream about when it heard the when it heard the stories along with the children so what did the tree dream about when it heard the stories along with the children so you need to answer these questions in your homework book i hope you have understood we end up with a part 2 if you want a, i want you to go through the lesson once again and understand the lesson thank you have a great day